Hey, it's Sam O, and in today's tip of the day, I'm going to show you how to analyze why a page gets backlinks. Researching how a page got its backlinks is a valuable skill to have so you can learn how a similar page is attracting backlinks, then apply your learnings to your own page. Now, pages get backlinks for all sorts of reasons, and the easiest way to come up with a reasonable hypothesis is to look at the anchors of the backlinks, because it'll give you context into why a backlink was earned. Let's go through a couple of examples. To get started, go to HR Site Explorer and enter the page you want to analyze. So I'll enter our blog post on SEO stats. Next, go to the anchors report, which will show you all anchor text of backlinks pointing at the target. Looking at the report, you'll see three different types of anchors. First are branded anchors like Ahrefs and the URL of the page. Anchors that are the brand name can happen for various reasons so I wouldn't read into it too much. Just know that this is perfectly normal and a good thing because branded anchors usually happen with earned links. As for exact URLs, these usually happen due to citing a specific point made in the content. For example, many pages use a sources section at the end of their page. In other times, they can be from forum links or just pure spam. So the URL alone doesn't really tell us much. So again, I wouldn't read into these too much. Second is the title of the post, and these often happen from content curation, content syndication, and scraper links. Again, I wouldn't read into either of these too much because they're a bit too broad. And the third type of anchors are what I like to call linkable points, and this is what we're after. What you'll often find with pages that have a lot of links is that people tend to link based on just a few key points. So as you can see here, we have around 120 referring domains from the stat 90% of content gets no traffic from Google, about a dozen from the point 0.78% of Google searches, and some more from the stat 68%. Now, this post has over 60 points, yet the majority of our links are coming from just these three stats. So from here, you can look through the actual content itself to get a better understanding of what these stats are based around. So you'll see that one is in the context of popularity of search engines, Another is about page two results. And the third is about the amount of web traffic where organic search is responsible. Let's look at another example. Backlinko's guide on SEO copywriting has gotten a good amount of links because of a tip he mentioned called bucket brigades. In fact, if we look at the full backlinks report and filter the list to anchors and surrounding text that mention bucket, you'll see that more than 10% of his backlinks can be attributed to this copywriting tip. Now, not all anchors reports will reveal hidden treasures like these, but it only takes a few minutes to check. So I highly recommend researching your competitor's anchors before you create your content so you can potentially find worthy ads for your piece. If you want to get a better idea of how this technique works, we did a case study where we use this method to create our SEO stats page. So I'll leave a link to the video in the description. So go and try this out before you create your next masterpiece. And if you enjoyed this video, Make sure to like, share, and subscribe for more quick SEO tips like this one. I'll see you in the next tip of the day.